Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the database SQL coding exercises in the arcade. So let's go to the arcade and go to databases. And we left off with the project team, so we're going to go to the next one, automatic notifications. So the application you've been working on for the past year is a huge success. It already has a large and active user community. You know the ID number, user name and email for each user. Each user also has a specific role that shows their position in the community. Information about the user is stored in the database as a table of users which has the following structure. So we've got the ID, the unique user ID, uh, the user name, the user name of the user, role, the user's role, and the user's email. You want to send automatic notifications to let them know about the most recent updates. However, not all users should get these notifications. Administrators don't need notifications since they know about the updates already, and premium users don't need them because they get personalized weekly updates. So given the users table, your task is to return the emails of all users who should get notifications, i.e. those whose role is not equal to admin or premium. Note that the roles are case insensitive, so users with roles of admin, premium, etc. should be excluded. Resulting tables should contain a single email column and be sorted by emails in ascending order. Okay. So here we've got the table of users that they're using. And the resulting table, they just want one column with an email. So we just have to filter out any admin or premium in the role. So we only need the email column, so we're just going to select email. The table is users, so it's from users. And the main thing that we have to do is filter the role, so we're going to choose role, where role. We're going to use the not, in, and then within you can put a list of things that you want to filter. Uh, so here we're going to do admin and premium. Since we're using the not keyword, uh, these will not come up. And then we want them ordered, uh, sorting by emails in ascending order. So we order by email. Uh, we don't have to put anything in there because by default it uses ascending. And then we end it with a semicolon to tell it that this is the end of it. So if we go ahead and run the tests, you can see the tests all pass. So that is the correct solution. I hope you guys came up with the same answer to this one. And I hope you learned something. Thank you very much.